Hey, it's your Auntie Social here, and today we're going to be talking about Dwayne Wade, Gabrielle Union, and their 12-year-old transgender child. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your Auntie Social again. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Click on the little dingy bell so I let you know when I've got a new video out. And give me a thumbs up so I know you like what we're doing here. I just saw in the news, Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union have a 12-year-old transgender child. Personally, I, I am shocked. I am shocked. I can't believe Gabrielle Union is even old enough to have a 12-year-old. Isn't she just 17 herself? Now, Dwayne Wade, the former basketball player for the Miami Heat. I, I don't watch basketball. I didn't know who this guy was. I don't like basketball. It's all the little <coughs> squeaking. It hurts my teeth. I can't watch basketball. I didn't know who he was. I kept hearing, Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade. I'm thinking it's the kid from a different world that had the flip-up glasses. So a little disappointed it wasn't him in the news. He and his wife, which I didn't know he was married to Gabrielle Union. She is a little cutie patootie, isn't she? They've been married for a few years. I didn't realize this. I didn't know they had one children, let alone multiple children. He's got kids from another marriage. They were recently in the news because they were really touched by the story about DeAndre. Yet they were supporting this young man from Texas who refused to cut his hair. Good for you, kid. Good for you, DeAndre Arnold from Texas. People were so touched. Gabrielle and her husband, they're, they're showing support. They're inviting him to the Oscars with them. The people from the, the, the hair show that won the Oscar, they're at, come on, we're going to talk about you in the speech. So much support. Leave hair alone. Do you know how long it takes to grow this stuff? Do you know? Do you know how much it takes? And it's not like this hair snuck up on the school. He's been growing it a while. Why are you just now having a problem with it when the kid's getting ready to graduate? Texas, Texas, you in Florida. What's going on with you guys? You're in a race for which one can be the craziest, all right? And Kentucky is in a close third. I'm not sure which one I would bet on. Florida's pretty crazy, but Texas, come on now. Dwayne Wade first talked about his transgender child's identity during a podcast last December, expressing his support and his admiration for her. We should all take a page out of their book. Okay, he and wife Gabrielle Union's 12-year-old boy was born biologically male and named Zion. And has now chosen to identify by female pronoun, she, her, hers, and goes by the name Zaya. Dwayne Wade said, once Zaya, originally born Zion as a boy, came home and said, hey, so I want you to talk to you guys. I think, going forward, I'm ready to live my truth. I want to be referenced as she and her. And I would love for you guys to call me Zaya. Now at 12, that takes some balls, pardon the pun, that takes some balls, to just have enough confidence in yourself to be your true you and to have enough faith in your family that you're, you're hoping they're going to be accepting and loving of you. Not every parent-child relationship has had the same experience. Not everyone receives that same support when coming out to their parents. A lot of transgender kids they get shame for their decision to transition, and they experience higher rates of mental health issues than the general population. Kids that identify as being transgender have a much higher risk of suicide than the average kid. And maybe people are having issues because they don't understand. You know, we're talking about probably less than 1% of the population have transgender issues, so some people may not have ever experienced it or have a loved one that's gone through it. So there's a lot of confusion on the non-trans side. And you got to understand, that would be like if you've gone through something your entire life and you're afraid to tell someone else about it by what they would think or you're not even sure if you're ready to accept it. It's got to be tough for a kid to go through. 
And there's no one way to be a transgender person. They're not all ready to go out and get surgeries and all that. One kid may choose just to use a different name and pronoun like this kid. They may want to change the way they dress. They may want to eventually get a medical transition. It, It all depends on how they want to present themselves to the world. And as a parent, it's important for you to find out what your kid wants and for you to believe in them. There's nothing worse than me hearing stories about gay kids that come out and their parents kick them to the curb. You parents are pieces of shit. You should love your kid regardless. So if that kid came out of the womb with six fingers on one hand, you would love him less? I hope not. And if you do, you're a piece of crap. And that's coming from your anti-social here, right? Right? Right. So, hurrah! Dwayne Wade, again, I want to say Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade and cute little Gabrielle Union, who's this big around. Good for you, being a good example, and good parents. Now, those of you who may find this confusing, and I don't know what transgender is, there's a show called I Am Jazz. In it, you see a teenager, born a male, but has lived life as a female ever since the kid was in single digits. You see the kids struggle and the whole family struggle with issues and what they're going through. And you see this as a family and as the individual. Learn a little bit more about it. Now, we don't know. We don't know. There's not enough research. Maybe there is and I just don't know about it. Is it a scientific thing? Is it a mental health thing? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because I have about a half a dozen trans friends. I love them regardless of if they put on makeup better than me, which isn't hard to do. People are up in arms about bathrooms. Oh, let me tell you, I got a friend. She's got a shorter haircut, and she's at a restaurant. She dresses like a 10-year-old boy. You know why? It's comfortable. Straight as a string, heterosexual female. She's going to the bathroom one day, And I guess someone didn't see her face, just saw the back, and went into the bathroom after her. Well, she's in the stall doing her business as one does. And the woman is running the, you know, the little air hand cleaners, just running it, running it, running it. And my friend's in the bathroom going, what the, the, I I think her hands are dry by now. What, what's what's happening here? Ah, Because she yells out, is there a guy in here? And my friend's not answering because she's not a guy. So it sits there. And finally my friend's done, does her business, comes out. And you can see the shock on the woman's face. My friend's washing her hands, leans over to the, the woman going, I think they're dry. The woman's like, what? She goes, I think they're dry now. Oh, I was just running it for my friend in the bathroom. Because those need to heat up? What the hell? It's not a car you're warming up. What the hell? I just don't understand. In this day and age, as someone who's lived through the 60s and 70s, how in the world anyone can be racist, sexist, racist, sexist, homophobic, hate people because they're from other countries, what the F? Because you cut us all open, we're all pink on the inside. But in the end, it's not a choice. Whether you believe it's a medical condition or if you think it's a mental disorder, it's not something someone would choose. It's something that they're born with and they're having to live with. Show a little love for your human man. If you see someone a little different from you, embrace them instead of push them away. This is your antisocial. Again, click the subscribe button. Click on the little dingy bell. Give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and throw a comment down there. If it's a shitty racist comment, you can go f*** yourself. But if it's a good question or a good comment, go right ahead. If you've got any questions you'd like antisocial to answer in future future videos, go right ahead and ask them. Thank you so much. Your antisocial loves you. Come back and see me again.